Chase is my only son, and this is not the first time that I've driven to see Chase and it's a battle to come outside. This is not the first time. This happened maybe five years ago. If I make a surprise visit to Chase, nothing else should matter because I'm his father. Who's that? Who's that? My name is Daphne McWilliams, and I am the mother of a boy named Chase. <laughs> I had often wondered what kind of boy he'd be if his dad and I stayed together. As a documentary filmmaker, I decided I would go out and ask men who were raised by single mothers what was life like for them. Maybe this would help me help my son. I don't know much about my father. When I was three months old, my father left. He never came back. There was no relationship there. When he ended up dying, my grandmother's son died. I found out he had another family. It hurt, you know, we grew up with my mother and he's spending time with these two new kids as opposed to me and my brother John. I know a lot of people that have mothers and fathers and you see the difference. In my experience, I needed a male to copy. I needed somebody to teach me the respect. I am a self-proclaimed mama's boy. Everything that I am, every way that I act is primarily because of her. I know I'm definitely a lot more sensitive than the guys around me. That doesn't mean that, you know, I, I take mess, but there were times that I just felt I was just a little too emotional because I grew up with a woman. So if you could say something to your father and, and you think it would help the relationship, what would you say? I wouldn't tell him anything because I don't think he can help. Nothing can help the relationship. Raising Chase alone was not always easy. He acts like he isn't, but he's listening, because I was that kid. Even in the middle of a fight, if we were just gonna choke each other. How many hours do you think you're on that phone? I don't know, Mom. It's not hard to be a dad. You just have to have sex, get a woman pregnant, the baby's born, guess what, you're a dad. But it takes more to be a father. I was not fathered, but I was parented. Get over yourself and show up. That's the hardest job, is parenting. Being a real man is everything to me. I thought the behavior was appalling. I thought it was disgusting. I was like, who do you think you are? I said, now nah, you want to be my father? You want to try to prove your manhood or try to make an example of me? I said, you're not my mother. You never raised me. I said, you ain't ever do nothing for me. Don't you ever put your hands on me. My last memory of him living in the home, he was being dragged out by the police. I tried calling him once around six years old, and he basically scolded me uh, for calling him. It doesn't really matter even if he wanted to be a father figure, especially now that I'm 14. I wouldn't ask for any advice, per se. The idea of my children not even being close to me hurts more than anything else, because it's not what I want. I am not going to force him to do something he doesn't want to do. I don't have a lot of anger towards my father. I wish things were perfect in a perfect world, but they're not. This is the emotional stuff I'm talking about, you know? You can't go out in the streets of Brooklyn like this. <laughs> <laughs>